Allison Berger here with Fun Size Frolicking, Charleston Edition. Are you looking to get away this winter to mild weather and get a history lesson at the same time? Well then head on down to Charleston, South Carolina, because that's just what you'll get. Here are my top five picks of what you should do when you go there. The first stop you have to make is at Fort Sumter. You are brought to the fort by ferry and then free to explore where the Civil War began. But before you go to the museum and gift shop, listen to the history talk that's given by the ranger so you have a full grasp of what happened here in 1861. Charleston is known for its historic houses, and Nathaniel Russell's was my favorite, which is why it's number two on my list. Unlike some of the other houses, Nathaniel's has been restored to look exactly the way it did when he lived there. The architecture is absolutely amazing. Be sure to pay close attention to the staircase. It's the only one of its kind. While in downtown Charleston, there are three major points of interest to see. The first one is White Point Gardens, which the locals call the Battery. It was initially called White Point Gardens because when the oysters would swim up shore, their shells made the entire area look white. The second is Rainbow Row. On East Bay Street, there are 13 historic houses that are as colorful as the rainbow. The third stop is Market Street. This is the place to go to get all your local shopping needs. Another thing Charleston is known for is their plantations. So for my fourth and fifth pick, here are my top two. Boone Hall Plantation. What made this such a great visit was because they were celebrating the 150th anniversary of the assault on Battery Wagner. Besides the reenactment of this battle that took place during the Civil War, there was plenty to see and do. The second plantation on my list is the American Classic Tea Plantation, which is the only tea plantation in the entire U.S. While you sip on some tea, you get toured around the plantation in their vintage trolley, learning about the history of the plantation along with plenty of fun facts. Then view the greenhouse and walk through the factory. What are your favorite things to do in Charleston? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Allison Berger, and don't forget, I'm fun-sized. Oh, no. oh, my Lord. Oh, my